What is sublimation? The term sublimation was originally used in chemistry where it refers to the vaporization of a solid without the intermediate formation of a liquid. It was eventually used in a derivative sense in psychoanalysis to describe the diversion of a drive towards a non-sexual aim, or a socially valued object, and in an analogous sense by Friedrich Nietzsche when he claims that the Apollonian culture of Greece is a sublimation of the violence, on which it is founded. The term is widely used in psychoanalytic criticism, to describe the conversion of sexual drives and energies into creative and intellectual activity, and this usage appears to be influenced by the aesthetics of the sublime. In his study of Leonardo da Vinci, Freud uses sublimation in this sense to describe the transformation of the young Leonardo's sexual curiosity into a spirit of intellectual inquiry. Whilst this produced great works of art, the sublimation of libido into a general urge to know meant that a smaller quota of Leonardo's sexual energy was directed towards sexual aims, and resulted in a stunted adult sexuality. Elsewhere, Freud suggests that a mature woman's capacity to pursue an intellectual profession, may be a sublimated expression of her childhood desire to acquire a penis. More specifically, in the context of Freud's theory of instincts, the term sublimation suggests the repression of the instincts, namely, eros and thanatos, which work under the pleasure principle, that is, the eed. According to Freud, if eros and thanatos which seek immediate gratification are left unchecked, it would jeopardize the self and eventually result in the destruction of society. For instance, a man cannot just kiss or rape any woman he likes, nor can he just punch or kill anybody he hates. In fact, for Freud, a society where anybody simply releases his or her sexual energies any time he or she wants is structurally inconceivable. Hence, for Freud, for society to progress, the instincts, that is, eros and thanatos, must be repressed. But this idea of repression for Freud does not mean killing the instincts, but rechanneling them into more productive activities. This is exactly what we mean by sublimation in Freudian psychoanalysis. Although the term sublimation is one of the most familiar term in the vocabulary of psychoanalysis, Freud does not devote any one paper to the topic and cannot be said to have developed a truly coherent theory of sublimation.